just Larry. Man, real quick, I wanted to check in. Uh, somebody sent me a, 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 vi a picture this morning that really got my memory going. I sent it to a couple of my friends already, like Jerry Mack and sweet little Danny Huff. And I wanted to show you this. Here, look at this. Somebody's found, unearthed this ancient photo of my Early days pedal board, man. And it got my brain racing with thoughts. This is taking you back to like probably 2003 or four when I was really just getting started in the session scene and uh, I was desperately experimenting with things to try to capture the sounds in my head. See, I was, my entry into the session world was very painful. I. I, I had all these sounds in my head and I had no idea how to get them. And everything I tried sounded like shit to me. And so one by one, I would find a piece of gear that, that actually could deliver. And I started stringing all this stuff together. And uh, this is way before I, I knew anybody that could make a nice pedal board. You guys see that. Let's just look at some of the shit on here. Um, uh, one delay, right? Think about that. Uh, I couldn't get by with one delay. Although you do see that three button foot switch over there. That's from a rolling space echo. I had that cooking. And uh, I remember when I found that Hughes and Kettner tube rotosphere, I just thought that was the coolest thing on earth. That Leslie box on the far right. It had its issues. And there were some things about it that I thought were pretty, pretty bad, but it really did sound good. And, uh, See that silly boss wah? I I I actually used that for a little while because uh, I was experimenting with trying to find a wah that I didn't hate, and that did have some redeeming qualities. Although it had some also some very serious issues that I ended up stopping using it. But you see the no balls is there, the old EQ is always there. Um, see the pedal next to the no balls is is an early. Um, Boss Super Overdrive, or no, what's it called? Boss Dual Overdrive SD2, and I used to use those because it was the first pedal I found that could give me that very lightly distorted clean tone that I was looking for, like a like a dirty clean. And man, I used to I used to love that pedal for that. Um, you can see the, the Roger Mayer Voodoo One up there, which was which I was using in the old days, the old script logo Dynacomp and the, the the boss tremolo was always there that was the first and only tremolo pedal still to this day that i like that thing sounds amazing and that's probably before i even knew that keely keely could do those great mods to them and then obviously the boys at xts figured out how to do those mods um 
Ernie, a big old tone sucking Ernie Ball volume pedal right in the middle of everything. <laughs> um, there's the boss, the, the the foot switch from a Bogner Ecstasy head that I was using. You see that? I was probably playing through a, an old Matchless and some kind of blackface Fender at this point. But yeah, pretty cool shit. Um, you know, that board was was made by my friend Rick DeLima, uh, Ricky D, covered in carpet. That's the one that Dan Huff. He, I remember when years ago on a session, Dan Huff said, "I want to buy that whole board." And he I goes, "What do you mean?" And he goes, "Like the whole board and everything on it." And I sold it to him. I think he still has it. We joked about it in that 200th episode thing we did. A um, couple other things, real quick, and then I got to go get a haircut. Um, I ended up with this guitar to help a friend out. A friend of mine needed some money. It's a it's a new custom shop, fancy Tele Custom. It's got all the fancy books. And it's a pretty expensive guitar. You guys know this is not my style. The relic, fake memories thing. I'm not really big on that, but it's these are expensive. I looked them up on Reverb and they sell for thirty five hundred bucks used all day long. Um. I'm going to give somebody the deal of the century out there. 2500 bucks, and you can make a grand on this thing. Uh, decent weight, decent neck. Frets are too big for me, but you probably would like them. Most people would like them. Bridge pickup sounds pretty good. I put some decent saddles on it because the ones that came with it sucked. The worst sounding neck pickup I've ever heard on any Fender guitar in my, that immediately will need to be changed. Real nice, fancy case. Uh, anybody wants it, let me know. And also, I've got a couple, I got a bunch of shit for sale. Uh, email me if you want some old matchless amps. I've got, I've got an old C30 head, a really cool old gray one. That's going to be expensive, but those are, those are getting up there because they're really cool and everybody knows it. And I've also got a, a, a 97 Samson era 210 Chieftain combo. That somebody could have for cheap, like thirty five hundred for that, but I'm not shipping those. So email me if you want that. Um, what else? Mm, I got a lot of stuff for sale. Uh, no Firebirds, no SGs. So don't even ask. Um, you might be able to talk me out of. Um, you might be able to talk me out of a really nice blackface Vibrolux reverb, but that wouldn't be cheap. You might be able to talk me out of... Boy, I shouldn't sell that Vibrolux. Anyway, I don't use it. But anyway, yeah. Country and Western licks. Okay, pedal steel licks. My, my favorite shit. Here's a good one for you. This is an old uh, Mooney lick. Check it out. playing in the key of C, you want to start on the five note. Okay. And the key is to get that bend to sound really jerky and quick. That's it. I had an A string bender, you know. But that's why we have Paul Franco around. I don't play that shit around him because he would laugh at me and say, That sounds like shit. You're not a steel guitar player. Stop doing that. But here's how you tune a steel guitar. Player. That's the tuning of the 10 strings all the way across. And it goes down at the end. It goes. Last two strings go back down. Isn't that weird? 
with the old shit people all right love to you all have a great day uh hope you learned something email me if you want any of that shit okay bye